Oh, shoot. C83 that I've hand filed mostly, but then I most recently sharpened it a different method. So we're gonna see if this throws better chips. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I saw from the first part. I knew what you were doing at the start. Yeah. Got an idea, everybody. We're gonna see if this works. With all your strength, bud. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't 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 yank it. Pull it. There we go. Pull it. Oh. You're gonna have to pull it evenly, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this. We're gonna attach this to the log. So I'm gonna try to winch these off with my crank. We're gonna see if this will work. I don't know if it will work. But we're gonna try it, darn it. We're gonna try it, Okie Woodsman way. Perfect, now, it's gonna come up here. No, 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 this needs to hook onto here. Okay, all right. Okay, so now we're gonna pull that tight. Okay, now we need to attach this to that. I'm gonna put another, I'm gonna put another carabiner on here, okay? Carabiner, here, can I, can I do it? Uh, that's what I was doing. I was trying to tie it from the wrong way because I, I can't reverse things all the time. All right, here. All right. You have that? Yeah. So now we're going to take this. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to ratchet exactly this. What you're doing. Here, hold this. <laughs> you think so? You want to try it? You want to go get that to ratchet? I think he's excited. Let's see if this works. It should hopefully pick up on it too. Do you think you're gonna be able to do this with your mechanical advantage? Oh, shoot. I, I captured my, I gotta fix this. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta fix this. I put it through here. That ain't gonna work, everybody. I captured it. That's one thing. When you're running utilities or, don't, don't ratchet it, don't ratchet it. When you're running um, like strand for, for cable, uh, one of the worst things you can do is run a mile of the stuff. Go ahead and ratchet it now, bud. You can run a mile of it and then find out that you wrapped the fiber around something that you can't, <laughs> and you can't cut it and splice it because it's a lot of money to splice a large fiber. What do you think, is this gonna be cool? Yeah. Yeah, let's see if it works. So we've got that. We're gonna try to pull this off with that. It's gonna get heavy. We've also got stretching the rope. Let me, I'm gonna pick up on it a little bit. That's not doing anything. Well, it's, it's helping a little bit. I'm gonna crank it again. What it is, is my rope is stretching. Ooh, I just saw some sparks. Watch this. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try this lighter log first. You have gloves on, right? Yeah, I have gloves. Okay. All right, that did not work. Not enough, not enough force. Let's see if I can get this smaller guy off. It might help if these were kind of unbound a little bit. This one might not work because it might be too, I don't know, we're gonna try it though.
Is it picking up on that end? Well, this is not working. No, I kind of knew. I guess I'm going to have to buck it up on the trailer. Didn't have enough mechanical advantage. Now, if I were to somehow rig something that went back and forth, back and forth, I could probably get this to work. But, but that's, that's circle, not. It's not working. That's simply not going to work. Uh, F for effort. <laughs> All right. Watch out, buddy. So um, can you unhook, uh, can you get the slack off of that? We got to clean this mess up here. Okay. Okay. Unhook this. Hold on. All right. Now, go ahead and start reeling it in. Oh, oh, reeling it in? Yeah, you need to take it in. We're get, getting it out of the way now. Well, that was an attempt and it didn't work. So I'm going to buck these up on the trailer. That's all it's to it. That'll be fun though. Gotta at least try it. One way to do it would be to drive away from it, but I can't, uh, in this position I'm in, I, there's just, I don't have room right now. I need to get something set up better, everybody. All right, now unhook the, unhook the uh, carabiner off of there and hook it back up to the trailer like I had it, okay? Thank you. I'm gonna get to bucking right on the trailer. So that'll work. Boy, these sycamores are heavy. You got it? Yeah. Good deal. All right. I feel like I could cut this. I didn't want to cut it up. I didn't want to buck it up on the trailer, but that's how it works. Oh, you know what? We're going to grab the log ox, okay? I'm going to grab my 620. I'm going to oil it up, fuel it up, oil it up. You're kind of coming along today for the day in the life of Oakey Woodsman um, messing around here. All right. So this chain I cut on the sycamore at that other job here recently. Um, what we're doing everybody is we're going to, this is a hand filed EXJ. The other one's by different file, or I'm sorry, a different sharpening method. I wanna see if I get better chips. Here's my 40 to one. Best, best cans everybody. These no spills with this, this is the best. They actually flow um, gas out, awesome. They do what they're supposed to do. And uh, frankly, they're not messy. So win-win, uh, win-win situation. I'm gonna dump, dump this. Okay, got that in there. I'm gonna basically start this up and get it rocking. So that way, this starts warming up because these echoes are notorious for taking forever. This is going to be loud in here, but we're going to do it. play a little bit with this tune it a little bit try to give it a little bit more fuel even if it four strokes a little bit I'm gonna see something I'm testing something I want you to roll up every window because I don't want all the uh, the uh, dust from the, the cutting the saw chips and stuff to fly in here all right you don't have to turn the wheel buddy we're just rolling up windows let me tell you this little boy wants to run everything he can.
I told you this wouldn't take no time. Take a break from this real quick. <laughs> throw throw off some of these rounds. <clears throat> so I'm not comparing saws right now. I'm comparing chains. The Echo is pretty much brand new, and I lightly filed it just to freshen up the edge. The the 562 is the C83 that I've hand filed mostly, but then I most recently sharpened it a different method. So we're gonna see if this throws better chips. <laughs> So, 
what I'm kind of thinking right now, I think this is throwing better chips. I'm gonna keep cutting for a little bit. Check it out. Very, very, very smooth. Um, this is a completely different method I use to sharpen. So I believe that I was getting my teeth sharp, but not, not as good as it could be, okay? Now keep in mind, um, I think that my, sh <clears throat> my sharpening was comparable, in my opinion, to like brand new out of the box EXJ, which a lot of people consider as slow. Um, but for a firewood saw, for, for, for not, for not, we're not racing saws, right? Um, I think it's totally sufficient, in my opinion. All right, so let me grab the, uh, I'm gonna grab the log ox. I'm gonna move some logs out of the way here. Dang, I really wanted to do that. What? Use the log ox. You can do that. Really? I'll let you do it. Yeah, heck yeah, man. I don't want to lift up them logs. You're good. Don't, don't, don't wreck your ankle. Just drop it off the side. All you got to do is set this side, and then that side will do it on its own. Oh, yeah. That's See? Easy. Yep. I don't know if it's easy. It's different. This is not, this bark, this doesn't have any bark, so it's, it's going to be more slippery than a lot of them. There we go. Yep. As soon as you take weight off of it, buddy, what happens is it's going to fall off. So keep that in mind. Uh, no, once it's once it's got a grip, it does. Take a quick break from this. We're gonna go sharpen up that 620 and see if this works any better. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut with this after I um, and we're gonna see if it does any better.
I think the saw is cutting better. Uh, it's cutting, yeah, it's cutting equally, if not better. I think there's more chips. Um, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I know there's some people that pull real good flakes out. Um, I'm on hardwood setting on the rakers. Um, I'm happy with that, guys. I don't think it, it's not going to hurt the saw. It's not going to hurt the saw. That's the big thing. And I'm going to just get better. I'm going to get better and better as I go. That's the, that's the goal, right? Dude, you're doing great, buddy. Thanks. That's a cool tool, huh?